Jake Ludington here at HB Discover, and I'm here with Ed Silva. And Vertica is something that I have visited a few times in uh, some of my previous video interviews, but never Vertica as a service. How, how, did, how does that work? So Vertica as a service is how we can offer customers a different way of buying uh, Vertica capabilities. Uh, uh, in a traditional sense, customers want to, uh, or they're not want to, but they're forced to, they have to buy hardware, they have to buy software, they have to go install it, then they have to go develop solutions, and you know, it can be eight, nine months through that entire process from concept through funding, to, you know, sizing, et cetera, to purchase. With Vertica as a service, we already have it all set up in a cloud, in a private cloud. And so from the point that you sign an agreement with HP, I would say we're eight weeks maximum. You'll be up and running using Vertica uh, in a very secure, enterprise-capable environment. That's in this, this service setting. Is it about eight weeks of deployment? Yeah, you know, there's, a, there's a few factors like getting your data, which is some, sometimes outside of HP's control, but, but the environment is already there. So it's, it's more about working through the details with a client uh, of, uh, of, the, of the, their requirements, uh, what they want to do with the data, how they want to, what they want to use it for, um, and then how then uh, the, the organization, the client organization, has to uh, find a way to uh, to give us the data, or so we can ingest that data. Um, and in a as a service environment, that would be a, a, a persistent ingestion of data, right? Because it would be a, a continuous, a daily, or it could even be real time. So what kind of scenarios would a, a customer find it more practical to use Vertica as a service versus, like I know HP has a Vertica appliance and then there's just the traditional licensing of the Vertica yeah. software? So if, if a client, um, let's, let's say the inverse, so if a client already has a, a large database environment uh, with some of our competitor products um, and, they, and they want to reduce the cost of ownership, they, they want to increase. Uh, reduce the, the the processing speed. Uh, they they may want to you know they already know how much they need, how much you know how much Vertica do they really need, how much space do you really need, and so it's a lot easier to predict the number and then purchase to that if they want to do it themselves, um, or if they want somebody us to do it for them, we could we could quickly stand up a very large environment for them that would just offload all that data from the other database onto onto Vertica. But what I'm seeing more, more often than not are customers that know they have to be able to do analytics and they need a, a database like Vertica to do that, but they have no data to tell them how much do I need to buy. Um, the business, uh, the demand signals from the business are not quite sharp yet. Um, and so they would prefer to be able to have all the benefits of Vertica and the enterprise infrastructure around it, but be able to start small and then be able to grow it as demand uh, you know, requires. That makes a lot of sense. And then something else we were talking about off camera is not only uh, can you kind of like grow your Vertica usage, but your team will also supply uh, some kind of smart data scientists to help you analyze yeah, the data? Yeah, well, hopefully all data scientists are smart. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, exactly. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to be an uh, end-to-end uh, -end provider to a customer. So if a customer needs infrastructure, if the customer needs software, if a customer needs technical services like uh, integration services or support services uh, to support the application or support the environment uh, and or business services like uh, business and an analytics people uh, the data scientists right uh, we want to be able to provide it all to a customer and so they have one place to go one one stop shopping one throat to choke it's always good to have one throat to choke yeah, as as so yeah, yeah. Vertica as a service, how does that fit in with kind of the, the broader service offerings of HP? I mean, there's also uh, Hadoop as a service yes. offering, I believe. Yeah, so our, our goal, so HP has launched their Haven concept, right, which is all the different uh, capabilities around big data. Uh, and Hadoop is part of that, uh, you know, Autonomy, Idle is part of that, Vertica, ArcSight, and a few others. And, and that sets the framework for big data, uh, the platform framework for big data analytics. Um, not every use case needs everything. Some use cases you could probably satisfy with just Hadoop. Some you could satisfy with just Vertica. Or, but more often than not, as use cases get more complex, you require some of each. So we're starting out, we've already launched Hadoop as a service. We are now launching Vertica as a service, but we can put those two together now. 
and now we can do use cases applying using Hadoop as a data lake and then being able to then uh, extract data, you know, drop the data into Hadoop, extract it, Vertica can extract it right out of Hadoop, but it'll only take the data that it needs to do the analytics, right? Um, and a lot of customers also are finding that Hadoop, although it's very popular and it's, it's open source, um, it, it doesn't necessarily meet the performance requirements um, or the compression requirements. Now, one of the other great things about Vertica is the compression ratios um, can be as high as over 100 to 1. Wow. And that means what would give you 100 servers with Hadoop, you could do it with one server. Right, so that, that, that's, a, that's a pretty huge difference. That's, that's a uh, significant uh, yeah. difference. Now, yeah, yeah, so a lot of it has to do with the data itself and how the data is, is ingested, but we have, uh, it wasn't really Hadoop, it was one of the other major uh, database companies. Uh, it was, a, it was a, it, 100 to one was the compression ratio from what their production environment had to what it was coming to us with. Uh, of course, it could be 50 to 1, 40 to 1, and I'm guessing it could even be more than 100 to 1 in certain situations. I would think even 2 to 1 is an interesting savings. Yes, and the fact that Vertica ha runs on um, standard hardware, you know, it's, it's commodity hardware, so it's, it's going to be much more uh, price competitive.